You know, it ain't about how big your problem is. It's about how big your God is. Because a lot of times we look at our problems in our life and we think, how am I going to get through this? How am I going to overcome this? How am I going to overcome this obstacle? This just seems so much. This problem, what? No. Anytime we have problems in our life, we think there's always a but. It's a but. It's, but what about my bills? But what about my rent? But what about my kids? What about my job? But what? Are you going to come to God with your butt? Or are you going to come to God and say, God, these are all of my issues. These are all of my problems. I'm inviting you, God, into my problems to help me get through this. I'm coming to you, God. What do you want me to do that's going to help me overcome this obstacle and help move past these obstacles? See, you won't come to God talking about, yeah, I have this, but you know, I have also this. Because you realize that you serve an almighty God and you realize that, that you're talking to the person that talking to the spirit, the energy source that created you. You ain't going to come to the creator of you with a butt. You won't. Because you look a little foolish. You look a little foolish because the creator created you. So they can create anything you need because they created you, right? See, the thing is, is God will supply all of your needs. The minute you start walking the path of righteousness, which means you are doing the right thing that is according to God's plan, to according to his purpose for your life. When you start walking that path, you're going to start walking by faith, but not by sight. You're going to be hearing God speak to you so clearly, even though you won't see it. But God's telling you that it's there. God's telling you that it's on its way. God's telling you exactly what you need to hear. You may not see it, but you feel it and you know it because you trust in God because you're walking by faith and not by sight. And when you have your problems, you don't look at your problems as they're big because you look at your God that's bigger than your problems. God is much bigger than your problems, way bigger than your problems. So I don't want you to ever look at your problems and think that they are so bad and so horrible that you can't get through them because God can get you through anything. God brought you through 100% of your worst days. Think of where you are right now in this very moment, on this very day, in this very hour. Think of how old you are and think of all of the years that you have behind you. All of the things that you've done been through, all of the most difficult things that you've been through, some things that you didn't even feel like you would make it through, and you're still standing here today because you know that your God has been with you all this time and can get you through anything. So you mean to tell me that you're starting to question what you're going through now, felt like you can't get through it? Baby, baby, why are you insulting yourself that way? Because if you insulting yourself, you're insulting your creator because you're saying, you know, yeah, I believe God got me through all of these problems. But this one, I don't know about this one. I don't know if God can get me through this one. God probably looking at you like, how dare you? How dare you think that I would not get you through this? I'm sorry, but some people need to hear that your faith got to be a little stronger, baby. You got to stop looking at your problems and thinking that God can't solve those problems. You got to stop thinking that you taking a leap of faith. That God's not going to be there to catch you. You got to stop thinking. Well, I can't tell you to stop thinking because you're going to think about it. So how, let me rephrase my question. I want you to start thinking this. Start thinking that when you take a leap of faith, that God's going to be there to support you and catch you. That if you have to do something drastic that you normally wouldn't do and you're worried about your finances with making this decision, I want you to go ahead and make that decision. And I want you to see and witness how God's going to supply all of your needs. God was just waiting on you. God, like, I got you. I got you. I'm going to supply your needs. I'm going to bring that to fruition. I'm going to bring everything that you need to pay all your bills, to pay your rent, pay your mortgage, pay your light bill, everything that you need. Your car notes, your insurance. I'm going to make sure that when that bill comes, that you have the money to get it. You know, if it's due on the 25th of each month, 
and it's right now the 13th and you like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't worry, baby, because by the time that bill is due, excuse me, by the time that bill is due, something I want me to say this, I'm going to say it. Come on, get out, get out of here. The moment that bill is due, baby, God going to bring that money to you. I want you to start having faith like that. I want you to start thinking of miracles like that. Miracles that come out of nothing. Because I want you to understand, baby, if God can bring water into a desert, God can bring your finances into a small bank account. Understand this, baby. Understand this. That your problems are very minuscule when it comes to how mighty your God is. And when you know how mighty your God is and how your God is going to supply all of your needs, take care of you and make sure that everything that you need is going to be given to you. You walk around with a new confidence. And if anybody tries to come in and try to question or, you know, project some doubt into you, you say, oh, I, I know me and my me and God got it. We fine. We straight. We got it. Because you know, can't nobody knock you off your roster. You know, can't nobody knock you off your throne. Because you know that you are a child of the Most High God. You know that you are regal, royal, reigning queen or king walking this earth. Because you are a child of the Most High God. The king of all kings. The queen of all queens. Baby. So stop looking at your problems like your God is not bigger than your problems. I want you to write this down. I want you to write this down. And I want you to put this somewhere in your house, whether you put it on a sticky note in the mirror in your bathroom, whether you put it on your refrigerator, whether you put it in your car so you see it. And I want you to write this down. Are you ready? Write this down. God is bigger than all of my problems. Simple. One sentence. God is bigger than all of my problems. And I want you to say that to yourself every single day. God is bigger than all of my problems. Which means that God's going to solve all of my problems. Which means that God's going to help me to solve all of my problems. Because you see, God's not going to always solve all of your problems on his own, on her own. No. Sometimes what God is going to require you to do is ask for God's assistance to help you through it. Sometimes we have to be the ones to do the work to get ourselves out of these problems. It's not always God bringing us out. But it's about us having God come in and, and with God working through us, we get through it. it. Goes both ways. But remember that your problems are very small from when it comes to God. And I'm going to keep saying this to you because I want you to grill it inside your conscious not, and your subconscious. I want you to grill it in there and realize God is bigger than all of your problems. So whenever you are thinking of making a decision and you're worried about those problems, don't worry about the problems, but know that God's going to take care of it because God told you to make a decision knowing the problems that you already had. And God still told you to make the decision because God's telling you it's already worked out all as well. So when you think of this, when you have this in your mind, you have a totally new confidence when you walk this earth. Every day you get out of bed, when you walk those floors, when you walk that ground, when you drive your car, you know that God's taking care of you. You know that God's got everything for you. So you don't have to worry as much. You don't have to live in fear. You don't have to live in doubt. Instead, you live in faith. You live in expectancy. You live in love. You live in light. You live in confidence. And faith and confidence is your Godfidence. It's your confidence in your God. So I'll leave you with this. Don't ever limit yourself. And don't ever think that your problems are limitless because your problems are limited because your God is limitless. Remember that. Peace. I love you.